Welcome to the Practical Ascension Podcast. I'm your host and soul alchemist, Tracy Goody. Stay with me for practical guidance and flow for your modern life through this time of ascension. Hi, welcome to your September Akashic Insight Forecast. September is all about your choice. It's all about personal responsibility to co-create your life, your path, and your purpose so very highlighted. I'm not saying that it's going to be a super easy and light month, but if you can get into the right flow of September, it can be extremely opportunity filled for you. So there's this theme of really waking up in real life, boundaries, discernment, not taking the path of others or being swayed from your path because of the perspective of others. So there's this whole personal responsibility, this whole sovereignty theme throughout September. And we're seeing this come more and more and more that you need to have this personal responsibility and this self-trust, this self-confidence in order to be moving up into your potential, to be accepting opportunities and to be feeling this beautiful flow of all of these amazing things that are coming to us. We're starting September with the moon pretty new. And in the two weeks leading up to the full moon, oh, I'm excited for this full moon, but in the two weeks leading up to the full moon, so September 1st to 13th, or 1st to 12th, it's our opportunity to really wise up to what is not working in our lives, our business, and our relationship. It's like, it's almost like a new year reset is what it feels like. Um, It might even be a, you know, a commitment that's no longer best for you to follow through on. It could even be a program you intended to launch, but it just no longer feels right for you. Reassess your goals and your vision and ask if what you're doing now is supportive to create that. So say, for example, if you have have a goal of impacting, you know, 300 women in September with your work is what you're doing right now going to support that happening. Are you listening to somebody else's advice or strategies above what you feel in your own heart and in your own higher guidance would be better for you to do? So just paying attention to that. Your unique gifts, perspective, and creativity all are going to lead the way very abundantly forward if you allow self self confidence to rise and self doubt to diminish. So that's a big, big theme for those first two weeks of September. And the reason that I am kind of really breaking September down into the weeks and the moon phases is because we can really piggyback from one energy to another to make the most of it. But at the same time, if we're ignoring and we're not allowing ourselves to work in this energy, it can feel, it can feel very thick. So we certainly have this clear message for the start of September and the universe will guide your way forward if you're open to allowing it from within. So there is like this co-creative energy is hilarious because the universe wants a little bit more uh, freedom. It wants a little bit more um, creative freedom so that it can help you co-create this life of your desires and fill in the blanks to the places that you're not quite sure of. So now our full moon in September, this harvest moon, it falls on Friday, September 13th. Like you seriously could not get any more goddess energy into this full moon if you tried. But the goddess has like this tone to it, like this mother that you do not want to mess with. She is fierce, but she has your best interest at heart. She will be relentless pushing you into your own power. <laughs> by highlighting where you are still giving your power away. So this is why I'm saying those first two weeks of September, if you're making the most of those energies, then whenever it comes time for the full moon, it's less less of a slap in the face and more of you understanding what's going on to make the most of it. She really wants you to follow through on your inner knowing, to stop focusing on crap that is not for your higher good. And in fact, um, it's just a distraction from what's possible. So any type of drama, any type of... um, criticism that you're really holding on to, let it go with that full moon. This is a time for intuitive lessons, letting go of a desire to know it all. And that was the other thing that was coming in here too. The the full moon is really asking you to open up to your intuitive knowing more than your logical knowing. Um, So the mother goddess, this full moon asks for trust and faith and an openness from you. And if not, then you're going to repeat these patterns until she shows up again and reminds you. So it's, it's a hilarious, no nonsense energy coming from this full moon. Then as the moon is moving from full to new, we have a two week period where we're guided to put into practice what we've uncovered this month so far. So we've been looking at our goals, been looking at our actions, been looking at our relationships and our projects and our 
our priorities and asking, is this really in alignment with where I want to go? And how can I trust myself more, trust my intuitive knowing more that I understand this path that I'm on and the right next steps to take? So we're putting that into practice. So as the moon is moving from full until new, commit to yourself, to your projects, to your mutually beneficial relationships, commit to these things. So again, you've already taken the start of September in order to get clear about what's working and what's not. And then once you're clear on that and you're in your, this intuitive flow, trusting your intuition, letting go of logic and needing to know all the details, have strength and be grounded in the present moment because opportunity is going to present itself here. So have your feet firmly in the present and align to the energy of trust so you can leap at the ideal moment. Now, during this period, this September, you know, about 14th to 29th, we also have this fall or spring equinox, depending on where you're at in the world. So this brings in a new, (laughs) a new piece of energy, um, a balancing energy, but the universe is doing the balancing. So again, there's like, there's this, like the strong mother goddess energy, but there's also this big balancing universal energy where things might feel, um, very fluid and even could feel up in the air. And if you can be your most patient, grounded, adaptable self, this universal balance will feel more like a series of events that are putting everything in place. Don't rush at this time because all the heavy lifting is happening under the surface. Your motivation is going to be back when it's the right time. So you may have um, the pattern of kind of pushing yourself and wanting to get certain things accomplished and having your logic saying, well, I should be able to get this much done in a day or this and this and this. And this is where you got to come back to your intuitive flow. Understand that Sometimes things can't happen, a whole bunch of things under the surface when the universe is getting everything lined up and have your action because they they counteract each other. So sometimes you just have to trust that the universe is doing its things, that you have set up your energy, you have set up everything that the universe needs to continue creating your path and your opportunity and you just need to step back for a moment. Have some patience. Finally, So we have this, all of this amazing energy in September. Finally, we have our September 29th new moon, and this is really wrapping up the month. This moon still carries with it the energy of patience and pulls back to a similar energy that we had at the start of September. So once we start to hit that equinox energy around the 23rd, um, the universe is kind of taking things over a little bit. And inviting you to look within again. So a reminder to let go of what's not working, to make room for something that will work much better, Uh, not to get sucked into illusion and drama. This is happening for everybody who's in this 3D energy matrix right now. Uh, So the more you can have your ascendant perspective for yourself, you'll see the gifts beyond the chaos because it does feel a little bit chaotic to me the end of September with this new moon energy. But again, that's only if you're in this 3D energy, this logic energy of needing to understand everything that's going on, just when you can step back and detach from that and just allow things to unfold, trusting that it's going to work out in your favor, trusting that it's going to be the highest, best path for you. And you're continually taking aligned action as you're tuned into your heart and your intuition, then everything is going to be absolutely amazing, opportunity filled, all of the good things. But again, final message for September, step back with detachment and trust because you have got this. This amazing energy in September is yours to utilize. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in to this September Akashic forecast. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to check out practicalascension.com for your free membership, access to guided journeys, energy healings, activations, and more to deepen your practical ascension experience. And grab that all in the show notes below. Have an amazing day.